Hey everybody, all right, I'm back and I'm gonna be talking about the 600 watt solar portable generator and also the 3000 watt portable solar generator. And uh, we now have a name for these products. These are gonna be called Solar Jenny. They will not come in these boxes I've described in the past videos, but these are our prototypes, if you will. And I just wanted to bring these back because we talked about you know, some follow-up videos in the past. And so I'm here to kind of do that and kind of put these whole units to rest. And then talk about the uh, website, westthattechguy.com, where you guys can come and get these awesome products. All right, so in the last video, when I talked about the 600 watt portable solar generator, I talked about that I was gonna come back with another video and tell you guys how to make it and how to put it all together. And that didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a brief description of what's inside the box, show you what's inside the box, and nothing has changed since the previous videos. Everything's still the same inside the box. Um, but now you'll be able to see it. And down in the description area, I will put in all of the links to the products that are inside this box so you can go get them yourself and build one if you'd like, uh, including the box. Anyways, uh, let's talk about what's inside the box. So first of all, we have a rigid box, and then inside the box, we've got a few little uh, bells and whistles. Of course, any solar generator is going to start with, obviously, an inverter, and here's our inverter, which is a 600 watt Ames inverter in this particular build. And over here on the other side, we have a 20 amp hour Life PO4 battery uh, paired with a Life PO4 battery charger. Um, you'll find that we have a solar controller here, uh, we have a hall sensor, which is controlled by this unit right here. We also have a uh, DC uh, D to DC buck converter to change voltage uh, for various reasons. We also have a simple little uh, four place fuse panel over here. And I'll, I'll show this to you guys again here in a minute. Uh, we have a fusible link that runs through our hall sensor into our uh, main battery system. We have a main power switch on the side that's ran through a 20 amp relay to run everything else. Uh, we have a negative bus bar that's inside here. We have some uh, two different uh, switches that are, or not switches, I'm sorry, two different um, plugs on the back of the unit that let the solar power in and also do the DC coupling. So if you want to run to another DC battery or if you want to send DC into this unit, that's how it's done on this particular model. The solar controller and the DC input output plugs are Nutrix plugs. I'll put a link in the description as well for those. And then uh, we move up to the front of the unit up here. Got a 12 volt switch. 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, a voltmeter, and two USB 2.1 amp 5 volt outlets or ports. Now, you probably noticed that the voltage is dropping in this unit as we're talking, and that's because there's some things plugged into it. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Uh, anyways, like I said, you got a simple solar controller. Uh, and I forgot about the AC input. Uh, this is where we, we run the AC current in uh, to power the unit. And then on each side in the back, right here and right here but back in here as you've seen in the previous videos we've got the two ac outlets to run the 120 volt ac so you do have two 120 volt ac outlets now i didn't go so far as to put the two barrel connectors the 12 volt barrel connectors in that i was going to put in in this unit I, I just ran out of time for prototyping and stuff so they'll be in the other models that you purchase on the website over at westthattechguy.com and like i said all the parts that are inside this particular unit will be all over at my website for purchase and also through my Amazon store. All you got to do is go to westapptechguy.com. You can either choose to go to my online store that's there, which is my own personal store, or you can go to my Amazon store, my Amazon products. And uh, what I don't have in my store for sale, I'll have on that Amazon site for sale. So anyways, in closing, this is a 600 watt version of the generator that you would be buying on my website, except in a different box with a different layout. This is the box that's pictured on the website currently and we'll be there for a few more days until we get the newest updated version that we've completed. Um, you can also get the uh, 3000 watt unit as well. Now, with all that being said, I wanna say that when you go to the website, these are gonna be advertised a little bit differently than what I've been talking to you guys about over here. For instance, this will be advertised as a 1200 watt uh, portable solar generator, and this will be listed as a 9000 watt. And the reason why that is, is because that's our peak values, that's our peak wattage. And in the solar generator world, and all generators uh, in the generator world, whether it's gas or solar, everybody uses their peak wattage for their, their representation of the product, their highest number, so to speak. So even though this is a 600 watt unit, it will be represented as a 1200 watt unit. And I do apologize for that, but I have to compete and I have to compare with all the other products out there or 
everybody will always buy the other guy's 1200 watt unit versus my 600 watt unit because his is the same thing but that's just kind of how it goes this is the low frequency inverter this is the bad boy that runs all the real serious hardcore electronics and we've got some video on this coming out for you guys running the air conditioners on matter of fact that'll be my next video that you see is just running a couple air conditioners and a lot of things at one time and this has got the big 100 amp hour life po4 had way 38 120s cells in it and um as i was saying you know so we're just gonna have to call these things like a 9,000 watt and a 1200 watt and they've got some other names and some spins that we're putting on them for advertising and marketing purposes but at the end of the day 600 watts continuous 1200 watt peak for a millisecond this is great for tailgating all sorts of things cookouts camping uh, very simple easy portable power uh, whereas the the true 3000 watt continuous output low frequency with the 9000 watt surge for 20 seconds is more of a backup a whole a whole home backup generator uh, if you will and you can just continue to add more batteries to these units and you can stack these units together and they will work simultaneously with each other and we also have other battery banks and other battery cells as well as power walls that will be soon coming out on the uh, website um, anyways folks I just want to say that um, I appreciate you guys all coming around I appreciate you guys watching my videos uh, I've got a lot of response from a lot of you folks over at the website both on the comments email uh, keep it coming I appreciate that these are now for sale on the website they will not come in these boxes unless you request that and if you do request that then by all means we'll take care of you uh, so the price is going to fluctuate it's going to keep moving around there are a lot of options and a lot of different ways to price this so Pay close attention when you're there looking at things. You know, it's not just what you see at first. There's a lot, you know, you can get these with lithium batteries. You can get these with life PO4 batteries. You can get these with a solar controller or and or a wind controller, which is a, the wind controller is an option. We're not going to put a wind controller in all the units because not everybody's going to have a wind turbine. So there's a lot of different options. You can opt to buy extra battery packs, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Um, so these are things that you really want to be paying close attention to as well. I also want to say there was a ton of time put into sourcing the products for these units, uh, the parts, the engineering, the time, the wiring, all of the above to make these things work reliable, safely, uh, for a long time. Uh, like I said, we have uh, a limited lifetime warranty on these products, and so I put a lot of time into making sure these are going to work out right. Uh, here in the very near future, I will have my actual product to present to you. So you can see it exactly what it's going to be like uh, as far as a solid unit in mass production. And that will be the actual unit you will be buying. But they will still be on the same platform. All the same parts and components and stuff will be the same. The only thing will be different uh, will be these boxes. Hey everybody, I wanted to say thank you for watching my videos. And be sure to like this if you do. And as always, man, like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. And just on one more note, I just wanted to say to you guys, we did have a couple things plugged into this little unit. And um, I'm going to turn it around very gentle because i got a solar panel also connected to it. But if you look really closely right here, I don't want to knock the solar panel down. Um, the entire time we've been filming, I've been uh, filming and running the entire studio, all the lights, uh, the entire rack off of this power box. And uh, we've got some monitors over here. Uh, we are not using the monitors right now, or I'm not using the monitors right now. But I am using one, two, three, four, five uh, big uh, lights, and uh, that's where all this lighting is coming from. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sign off for now, man. So I appreciate you guys coming. We'll see you on the next one.